What's up guys, I'm here with Julius Mobley. This week we're gonna be working on a daily hip of guard pass. If you notice, Julius has my collar. It's that ankle control. No sleeve control this week. He's gonna be here, he's breaking me down. So before I try to do any kind of pass, I wanna make sure I have a base. Um, a good position to pass. So my butt's down, my, my back is straight, my head is up, my chest is showing, my elbow's on the inside in here, and my, my, my shin is slightly turned out as hard as it can be. Um, here, if I'm staying up here, I'm already going for a ride. Like, hey, there I go. If I'm, if I'm leaning back too far, it's just going to stretch me out and get here. So make sure you're, you're, you've got a good base, lapel, elbows driving inside now here. Um, when you feel comfortable now, break the grip. I'm going to grab the sleeve, grab the sleeve. As I do a back step, this hand, when I was holding the lapel, it's going to come right in the knife, right between his, um, behind his knee. So as I back step, here, my hand comes right inside the inside here. And what I'm going to do is sit on my hip here. Sit on my hip. And right when I get to about right here, I'm going to go to a leg back position. My knee comes inside. I am going to grab the lapel, smash his hip, make sure he can't turn over. My other hand comes underneath, and I pass the guard. And it's finish with shoulder and the chin, and there's your guard pass. One variation, this is the way it was normally taught. Um, same thing, make sure you're in a good position to pass. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna break the grip first, do a quick back step here, and now, as I get here, I'm gonna dive my head to the floor. My leg is gonna come inside and get here. So once I get here now, I'm just going to stretch my leg to come to the leg drag position. Stretch, grab the lapel, Come down underneath the neck and pass the guard. Common mistakes. A couple things, like I said, first, um, just trying to pass from a bad position, trying to pass from up here and, be in, and not be set up. Secondly, trying to do anything when he has his grip. If I back step here, he's going to have too much leverage and stuff here. Um, so make sure you're in a good position here. Make sure you break at least this grip. Some guys like to break both, but make sure you at least break this grip. Um, when his leg's inside and I can't get my knee inside, I usually grab over, come here, and I break the grip. Now, um, the biggest mistake I see is guys step too far back. Anytime you step too far back in daily Hiva, you risk giving up your belt and, and, and getting put on your hip, and getting your back taken with the bare bowl. So when guys will get here, they'll step all the way back here like this, and he'll grab the belt here and put you on your hip, and then now you're going for a ride and going to finish there. So make sure you don't. You gotta find a happy medium. Make sure you step back just enough to get your hand underneath the leg. So when you get here and you're inside, take a step back just to get to here. Just enough to get inside here. So you either dive your head to the floor or, or get behind his kneecap right here and stuff like that. Because he's gonna be reaching for your belt trying to put you on your hip. Um, if I sit here like this, once again, I'm it's too, it's too late. I need to sit on his leg and already be ready to hit my drag. Lastly, um, this is kind of this is for the leg drag itself, the, the finish on the drag. There's a million mistakes you can make there, but I just go over a couple of them. You, you get here, and you and you you're, you smash your hip and stuff here. You can't get underneath his elbow here. Um, if you don't have good hip here, he's going to make a little bit of pressure away from you here. He's going to turtle away from you and roll right back to his guard, right, in, and go there, and you're going to end up here. So make sure. You can't get underneath this elbow here. One, you either get quick to take his back, understand it's coming, make sure you have good pressure here, or come over his elbow into his bicep, grab behind his neck, and drive down as much as you can here. Put the weight down into the shoulder, get heavy here. So now if he tries to turn away, it's gonna be a lot harder to turn away and make it a lot easier for you to put your hook in when you go. But you might be able to keep him here when you finish the pass.